Good afternoon, everybody. Um, if you don't know by now, my name is Bryce Owens. Um, so this is my informational speech. Um, uh, so the informational speech was supposed to be on something pretty dicey, a little bit controversial, something you hold close to your heart, you know. Um, so before I even dive into my topic, um, you know, I'm, I want to bring back some flashbacks, some some nostalgia for for the class, real quick. Um, I want to think that most of us have gone through a program such as DARE or the GREAT program during elementary school or middle school, and we all swore to stay drug free, you know, signed this contract, took this oath, blah, 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 had the police officer come in, tell you about it. However they did it, we all had something similar for the most part, I would hope most of us have. But during most of those programs, one of the main drugs that was highlighted in those programs were marijuana. Now, we all know the negative stigma behind marijuana um, that even carries on to today. Um, you know, some people think it should be legal. Some people don't think it should be legal, blah, 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 blah. But as these years have gone by, after we've gone through these drug programs, there's been a lot of research and a lot of medical benefits that we were previously unaware of when we had gone through those programs and now it's becoming a topic of interest on whether should we legalize marijuana all the way or should it just be medical or blah 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 and they're still doing research now but um today i'm gonna go ahead and dive in and inform you all on the legality and the limits of medical marijuana as well as the medical benefits of marijuana and the chemicals that make it actually beneficial so um First, I just want to dive into the legality of it. Um, according to the writers at ProCon.com, there are currently 33 states, as well as Washington, D.C., that have legalized medical marijuana. Um, most of those clusters being um, in the Northeast, uh, West Coast, a little bit of the Midwest, um, and little little spots in the Southeast, like a... Um, Louisiana has um, medical marijuana, I think, and uh, and but pretty much as a whole, the Bible Belt hasn't been breached completely. But for the most part, it's other than Florida. Florida, Florida is an exception that we can you know just toss out the window. They're different. They're different. I don't even can consider them the Southeast. But um, so you know, you kind of take some drawbacks and you think to yourself, well, how does medical marijuana work, and and why is it helpful? So um. Pretty much, uh, before we even get into the how and the why, there are two main things in marijuana that make it medically beneficial, and they're called cannabinoids. Um, and there are two main cannabinoids of interest that scientists have been looking at in marijuana, one of them being delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, also known as THC, and cannabidiol. I don't, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but that, uh, it's also abbreviated and known as CBD. Um, so CBD is known for controlling epileptic seizures, treating mental illnesses such as schizophrenia, um, dementia, and you know so on. And um, it's also known for treating addiction as well. And um, when you have THC on the other hand, and THC is the chemical that actually makes someone feel high. So, and THC is mainly used in helping control pain, inflammation, and it is also known to reduce nausea. Um, and also, according to Peter Grinspoon, MD and professor at Harvard Medical School, the primary use and the biggest reason for medical marijuana as a whole is mostly pain control which kind of helps steer away from the use of opioids. You know, that's a whole other discussion that can be had. But um, um, in conclusion, um, despite the negative stigma that we were presented in, you know, early grade school, there's a lot of medical benefits to medical marijuana um, that can help people all across the board. And um, even today, there's still being tests being conducted to see if maybe this substance can be the key to unlock other cures or treatments or whatever.